see him. God will help me. This is a pastor, Stanley Obunna. Look at him, he called police. Evicted me and the children out of the house. Look at me. Look at my properties. All unannounced, we're in the house this afternoon. He just came to the house with police. Threw my things and, and, and threw my things away. And threw my things out of the house. He already packed his things out of the house for years, sleeping around. Now, he has come to disgrace me. After laboring with him for 18 years, 19 years. See what General Overseer of Gospel Assembly, Glass Church Kubwa. Look at him. I'm his wife that labored with him for 19 years. 19 good years. The world needs to come into it and give me justice for suffering me. For suffering me for all these years. For suffering me after six children. I have six children for him. Six, not one. My last child is four years old. My children, he doesn't even know where they are. Look at me. Look at me outside. Look at me outside. Because he feels that nobody will talk to him, talk for me. He feels nobody will speak for me. Jehovah will speak for me. Greetings according to your time. Most of the times I begin to ask. Marriages are under attack. A lot of people are going through a lot in their marriages. There is no perfect marriage, of course. And I want to tell us here categorically that even pastors are humans. They are not deemed God. You know, I do not talk about pastors. But this one, I have to talk about it. Now, this woman has cried out that her her kids, everything they live with in the house has been thrown out. She has been in that marriage 18 to 19 years. He has been cheating, as she said, we are not there. And at some point, he even left and came back to do this to them. Now, she is also letting us know that their divorce is in court, so it's not finalized yet. The question remains, what is happening? Why would a man or a pastor, a man of God, do such to his beloved wife and the children? Where is the empathy? Where is the sympathy? In as much as the man of God has not spoken, the pastor has not given his side of the story. But why would he throw his wife, the things they live with, and she doesn't know where the kids are? She don't know the condition of the kids. Just as she said, guys, it is really alarming. What are they teaching their members? I'm sure he has members. I'm sure he has congregations. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Please like, share, follow us. Mary.